Hello everybody, and welcome to Morzak EV, a channel dedicated to all things electric vehicles, electric vehicle charging, and all related technologies. And in this episode, we're going to be looking at the My Energy Eddy. So the Eddy is a product from the My Energy company. They manufacture electric vehicle charging products and this, which is a solar diverter. But before we get into that, make sure you like, subscribe, check out our social media. If you're moving energy suppliers, take a look at our referral code for Octopus Energy in the link below. And if you're buying a Tesla, make sure you check out our Tesla referral code to get 1,000 free supercharger miles. So as I said, the Eddy is a solar diverter. So what does this mean? Well, when you've got solar panels, the sun comes out, solar panels go through the inverter, generating electric current. This feeds whatever happens to be working in your house at the time, and anything that's excess goes back to the grid. Now a lot of you will know that my energy is Zappy, and the Eddy does the same thing as the Zappy, but for your hot water tank. So we've installed an eddy in between the feed from the consumer unit to the hot water tank's immersion heater. We also put a CT clamp which monitors how much energy is being generated by the solar and how much is being exported to the grid. So the sun comes out, a little bit is used in the house, the rest starts feeding back to the grid. The My Energy products detect this and then it turns on the feed to the hot water tank's immersion heater and it matches the amount that is being fed to the grid. So this means instead of exporting energy back to the grid, it puts it straight into your hot water tank. Like I say, this is very similar to what the Zappi does. However, there are a couple of critical differences which makes it worthwhile owning an Eddy for your hot water tank and a My Energy Zappi for your car. So the first thing is that cars will not charge at less than around 1 to 1.2 kilowatts. That's due to the nature of the battery um, management systems on the vehicles. So if it's a slightly overcast day and you're only producing 800 watts, that might be going straight back to the grid. If you use the Eddy and the hot water tank immersion heater, this will work right down to almost nothing. So you can capture that energy when it's too low to charge your vehicle. I'll also show you on the My Energy app, you can actually prioritize whether you wanna charge the car or heat your hot water. All you do, you select the icon and drag it up and down. So you're reprioritizing whichever's highest will take priority. So let's say you've got a couple of days, you're not going anywhere, your car's already pretty full. You can prioritize your eddy over the car. Naturally, once your car is fully charged anyway, it'll default to the eddy. Or if you're producing more energy than the car's taking, and if you swap them round, that obviously works in the opposite way. So it'll charge the eddy. And then once you've got another excess above what the eddy will use, because immersion heaters are only 16 amps, so around 3.6 kilowatt, that means that it will also start charging the vehicle on top of that. So you can play around with your priorities, um, change your settings to suit, but overall, you know, you've got a lot of control over your system and you can use that solar to go wherever you need it most. So as you can see here, I'm installing the eddy next to our hot water tank. Now there are a couple of um, things to keep in mind. The eddy itself is designed to work with an immersion heater. It can work with any resistive load, but obviously the immersion heater is the real obvious choice for it. Now this is ideal if you own um, a back boiler, for example, a gas back boiler, an oil back boiler, which feeds a hot water tank. That's fine, it'll work perfectly. Same with an Arga, as long as you've got an immersion heater or you can have an immersion heater installed in your hot water tank. Our system is a little bit more complicated because we have an air source heat pump. 
Now, this does vary from pump to pump, but basically, um, we have a separate coil which is heated from the air source heat pump. However, with air source heat pumps, you have your Legionella cycle. So the Legionella cycle has to be in place because air source heat pumps only heat the water to around 50, 50 ish degrees. This isn't hot enough to kill Leg the Legionella bacteria over prolonged periods of time. So every two weeks, there's an immersion heater in the system which heats the hot water up to around 65, 70 degrees. Um, it does this for around half an hour and this kills the Legionella bacteria or will kill any bacteria in your tank. So introducing the eddy, you need to make sure that this will still happen. So my energy also do a relay board, which can uh, you can use the eddy then with, to work with other devices. Um, it's highly configurable, but there is a way of setting, the, setting it up so that when the Legionella cycle kicks in, it completely bypasses the eddy and feeds the immersion heater directly. I won't go into all the details of setting it up, but I just wanted to show that it is possible to use the My Energy Eddy with an air source heat pump, because this is a common question we get asked. Obviously, there's a little bit more detail in the installation process when you need to add the relay board in and, and do that little bit of extra work. But it, it is possible. If you are trying it to do it yourself, My Energy will help you. Although, as always, we would recommend that you only use a qualified electrician to do electrical works on your own home. Now, another last detail to mention is that the CT clamps that you put on your solar and your incoming um, main grid feed that detects how much solar you're generating and how much you're exporting to the grid. That being said, if this isn't easy to hardwire into the Eddy or the Zappi, they also do this Harvey. And the Harvey sends a radio signal to tell the devices how much is being generated, how much is being exported. So I hope this was a good introduction to the Eddy. If you're interested, get in touch with us on one of our social media feeds or website. Make sure you like and subscribe the video. Check out our Octopus and Tesla referral codes. And in the meantime, thanks very much for watching. <laughs>